Good morning. Welcome to Wayne State University's December commencement ceremony. The candidate processional will begin momentarily, but first, we'd like to remind you that for your safety and comfort, please remain at your seat for the duration of the ceremony, keeping all aisles and exits clear and unobstructed. We ask that your cell phones are also turned off or put in the silent mode, and all camera flashes are turned off. We'd also like to remind our guests that they can meet their graduates at the conclusion of the ceremony at the M. Roy Wilson Plaza, just outside the field house. Thank you for your cooperation and understanding. Honored guests, please join me in welcoming now Dean of Students, David Strauss. Good morning, and thank you all for being here. On behalf of the Dean of Students Office, the Student Senate, and all the student organizations, let me be the first to welcome and congratulate all of you gathered here today for this momentous occasion, the confirmation and celebration of Wayne State University's College of Fine, Performing and Communication Arts and College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, Class of 2022. And now families, friends, and honored guests, please join me in welcoming members of the Wayne State University faculty. I am, honored, I am honored to now present to you the PhD candidates accompanied by their faculty advisors. I now present to you the candidates for master's and bachelor's degrees from the College of Fine Performing and Communication Arts and the College of Liberal Arts 
and Sciences.
Families, friends, honored guests, please stand as the members of the Wayne State University Board of Governors, the President, Deans, and members of the University Administration process to take their places on the stage.
Thank you. Please remain standing and join me in welcoming Andrew Montano from the College of Fine Performing and Communication Arts to sing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you so much, Andrew, for that wonderful rendition. Everyone, please be seated. What a great way to start this special celebration. I would like to draw your attention to the academic mace of Wayne State University. This mace is a ceremonial scepter that symbolizes the highest ideals of humankind. Harmony, truth, justice, and learning. By tradition, the mace is presented at commencement to represent in, in a position of prominence to all those gathered to represent and celebrate this auspicious occasion. And now, at this time, I would like to introduce our Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Mark Lawrence Kornblue, Provost Kornblue. Thank you, Dean Strauss. Good morning and welcome to Wayne State University. It is my great honor to start this ceremony by introducing you to the 2022 spring, summer, and fall graduating class from the College of Fine Performing and Communication Arts and the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. I would also like to welcome the university's academic and administrative leadership gathered here to lend their congratulations to the class of 2022. I ask the deans and senior administrators seating on the stage to stand and be recognized. As one of the fifth, nation's 50 largest public universities, Wayne State University has anchored the city of Detroit as an engaged and motivated community of scholars since 1868. Wayne State is also home to Michigan's most diverse student body with over 27,000 students from across the globe earning their undergraduate and postgraduate degrees. Wayne State continues to be a top 100 research university which is strengthened by the culture industry, and diversity of its urban environment. 
Graduates, you have grown immensely during your time here at Wayne State. Your knowledge in your chosen field has increased and carried you here to today. You have developed and honed your skills and are ready to go into the world. But let us remember that this moment is not yours alone. Without the help and sacrifices of your loved ones, your journey here would not have been possible. Graduates, please stand and join me in giving a big thanks to your family and friends gathered here today. Please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce you to the Honorable Shirley Stancato, a member of the university's Board of Governors, who will bring you greetings on behalf of the board. Governor Stancato. Good morning. And I know lawyers can do better than that. Let's try that again. Good morning. Morning. Great, wonderful greeting. Thank you so much. Um, again, good morning to each of you on this, your very, very special day. On behalf of all the members of the Board of Governors, it's my pleasure to welcome all the graduates of the class of 2022, along with your parents, family, and friends, and we want to give you our deepest and most heartfelt congratulations. Now, commencement is the culmination of big dreams and hopes for the future. You've all worked incredibly hard to reach this moment, and you should be proud, as we are, of your accomplishments. Wayne State is an outstanding institution, and today you join more than one quarter of a million alumni who call our university their alma mater. Let me say that again, one quarter of a million alumni. Your dedication and commitment have brought you to this moment and have set the path for your future success. We know the warrior spirit runs strong in each of you, and as these past few years have proven, it will guide you well in your future endeavors. Before closing, I'd like to introduce you to my colleagues on the Board of Governors who are joining me for this morning's program. Please welcome Governor Mark Gaffney, the Chair of the Board, <laughs> Governor Michael Basuito, and Governor Marilyn Kelly. Again, congratulations from the entire Board of Governors and our best wishes to you and your families on this wonderful milestone. Thank you, Governor Stancato. Graduates, your journey here today could not have been undertaken without the help, guidance, mentoring, and instruction from our esteemed faculty. I would like to introduce Michael Barnes, a member of the Academic Senate and Associate Professor of Theater and Dance in the College of Performing and Communication Arts, who will bring greetings on behalf of the faculty. Professor Barnes. Thank you, Professor Kornblue. Today, I represent the faculty and academic staff of Wayne State University. We've had the privilege to mentor, tutor, counsel, and teach you, and now we wish to you, each of you our warmest congratulations. Accompanying on this, you on this journey have been many people, your family, your friends, and the many faculty and staff here at Wayne State. We're happy to gather in celebration, and I hope you realize the role that everyone had in getting you to this important milestone. Hopefully, you have many fond memories of the journey that has brought you to this moment. As a comprehensive research institution, Wayne State has well over 1,000 faculty who not only deliver collective knowledge, but also generate new knowledge. They conduct, they conduct path-breaking research in their fields, they work to push boundaries creating art, and they establish national and international reputations for themselves, their departments, and for Wayne State University. I'd like to acknowledge all of them and recognize this remarkable faculty who have served as teachers and mentors, sharing their passion and commitment with you. Also, I'd like to acknowledge the advisors, academic service officers, and academic staff who have served as guides along your educational journey. Together, we have worked as a team to expand both the knowledge required for your chosen professions, as well as offering you experiences and insights to help you navigate our ever-changing world. Graduates, You've been given the knowledge to examine, evaluate, and critically analyze all the voices, images, and content that can often feel like an avalanche of information coming at you from traditional media, 
social media, and the people around you. I have confidence that your preparation here at Wayne State will serve you well to distinguish sound ideas, navigate the murky waters of dense information, grapple with the divisive questions that beset our society, and empower you to fight for justice for all with a spirit of mutual respect and inclusion. I'm a professor, as, as Provost Kornblu said, in the theater and dance department, where I have the joy of mentoring young artists as they grow and prepare for their futures, both entertaining and challenging society. This semester, I had the pleasure to direct these young artists in a production of the musical Rent. It seemed particularly timely because, as you know, we are still coping with a global pandemic, and it was written about people who were coping with the HIV pandemic of the 1990s. Why do I mention this? Because I want to share one of the musical's primary themes, that life is fragile, it is short, and we must make the most of it. As one of the lyrics says, life is yours to live. I hope that each of you has a path through life with as few challenges as possible. However, all of us will have difficult moments in our lives that will try us. Remember when facing these difficulties that it is kindness, joy, humor, and love that will guide you through them. Keep an open mind so that you can be a friend, extend a hand to those in need, and be a part of the greater good for society. You have graduated from a special university, one that defines excellence not by whom we exclude, but by whom we include. It is a university that respects its students enough to demand much of them and that also shows its students understanding and friendship. You are now a part of the Wayne State Warrior family. Today, we share both your pride and your promise for the future. I want to let you conclude by letting you know that the faculty and academic staff are incredibly proud of you, our graduates. Whatever road you may travel, we hope that you all let us know about it. Please share your accomplishments, big, small, your hopes, your concerns, and who you become. With all its frustrations, social media can keep us connected. Message us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, maybe not Twitter. Um, whatever platform arises in the future, or even the old-fashioned way, email. Um, we want to hear from you. Again, congratulations on your accomplishments today. On behalf of Wayne State's faculty and academic staff, I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you, Professor Barnes. It is now with distinct pleasure that I introduce Wayne State University's 12th president, Dr. M. Laurie Wilson. Graduates, colleagues, special guests, family, and friends, <clears throat> after two years of being apart, we're at long last gathered again in person to celebrate the most special moment in a university student's career, commencement. It is a joyful day. I am so proud of you, of all that you've overcome in pursuit of your academic goals, in pursuit of excellence. I'm not the only one proud here. This arena is brimming with parents, siblings, grandparents, faculty, and mentors who cheered you on and supported you in your journey to arrive at this point. Today is their celebration too. This year is different because you are different. Our graduates, our warriors, in spite of all the world threw at you, including a global pandemic that shut down much of the world, you kept fighting and earned a degree. Some people call that grit. On this campus, we call it warrior strong. And that grit, that spirit of determination to persevere at all costs has prepared you for life in a way you will someday appreciate, if not today. When I began to think about my words for today, the first thing that came to my mind was a quote I've long admired from the 26th president of the United States, Teddy Roosevelt. 112 years ago, in the spring of 1910, he said these words to an audience gathered at the Sorbonne in Paris, France. 
as was the convention of the time, he refers only to men, even though he is addressing a mixed audience and his comments are equally applicable to both sexes. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. But the context for the speech President Roosevelt gave over a century ago was quite different from today. He was addressing a group of elite French intellectuals born into a life of privilege, who hadn't yet experienced a world war or the deadly 1918 pandemic. His words, I think, were intended as an admonition to his audience to not allow their cultivation and privileges to stop them from engaging fully in the arena of life, to instead, as he puts it, quell the storm and ride the thunder. Teddy Roosevelt knew the arena. He dared greatly. He fought literally and figuratively throughout his life and won far more than he lost. He would never be counted among the cold and timid souls. His words made me think of you, of the class of 2022, not in admonition, but in recognition. Those who accepted the high standards that Wayne State demanded of you as students and surpassed them, who not only weathered the pandemic, but conquered in spite of it who cared for those in your communities and lent a helping hand, who reckoned with the injustices still suffered by too many in our country and fought for better, who practiced patience, sacrifice, resolve, hard work, compassion for others, action in the face of injustice. The credit belongs to you, those in the arena of life. Thank you, President Wilson. We now begin the traditional part of the university commencement ceremony, the introduction of candidates for the degree from the schools and colleges gathered here this, this, this morning and the conferring of these degrees and the diploma march. Over 3,400 students are eligible and applied to graduate during the 2022 spring, summer, and fall semesters from our 13 schools and colleges. Candidates present at this morning ceremony will now be presented for their degrees. The degrees are then conferred by the president. The awarding of the diplomas will follow the conferral of the degrees. From the graduate school, the candidates for the degree of doctor of philosophy will be presented um, by Dean Dorch and the candidates will please stand. Dean Dorch. Mr. President, upon the recommendation of the graduate faculty and the graduate council of the university, I have the honor to present these candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. The candidates will be seated. From the Irvin D. Reed Honors College, Wayne State University students celebrate a wonderful tradition of academic achievement 
We're pleased to ask Dean John Corvino, Dean of the Irvin Reed Honors College, to acknowledge the students who have earned university and departmental honors designations and those students who have participated in the Community of Scholars programs. Dean Corvino. Would the honors students please stand? Mr. President, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the schools and colleges of Wayne State University, I have the honor of presenting these outstanding students who have completed the honors curriculum in their respective departments or the university honors curriculum as listed in the commencement program. They are wearing a gold collar in recognition of their achievement. Thank you, Dean Corvino. Mr. President, from the College of Fine Performing and Communication Arts, the Master and Bachelor Degree candidates will be presented by Dean Hassan Alahi. Will the candidates please stand? Mr. President, upon recommendation of the faculty of the College of Fine Performing and Communication Arts, I have the honor to present these candidates for degrees as listed in the commencement program. Would the candidates please be seated? Thank you, Dean Elahi. Mr. President, from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, the Master and Bachelor Degree candidates will be presented by Dean Steffi Hartwell. Will the candidates please stand? Look at you! Woo! Mr. President, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, I have the honor to present all these candidates for their degrees as listed in the commencement program. Thank you, Dean Hartwell. Now, will all the candidates for PhD, Master's, and Bachelor's candidates please stand? Will all the candidates from all the colleges please stand? <laughs> Mr. President. The authority to confer each of these degrees is vested in the Board of Governors of Wayne State University by the people of the state of Michigan under the Constitution of the state. This authority is delegated to the President by the Board. Each of these degrees is granted on the recommendation of the faculty of the university. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors and upon the recommendation of the respective faculties, I do hereby confer upon you the degree for which the faculties have recommended you and I admit you to all the rights, privileges, responsibilities of that degree. Congratulations. Woo! Would the degree candidates please be seated? Honored guests, it is now the time for the moment our graduates have worked so hard to achieve the receiving of their diplomas. We ask that all guests remain in their seats during the diploma march. We will begin with the PhD candidates. Please follow the directions of the staff at the head of each row.
from the College of Fine Performing and Communication Arts, Laura Bruns, advisor, Professor Anita Mixon. Miwa Ito, advisor, Professor Lorley Kishley. From the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, Anandita Mitra, advisor, Lori Pyle. Mamad Solomon, advisor, Miriam Greenberg. Alubenge Hadaniran, advisor, Jenfi Lu. Adeleya Adewale, advisor, Young Hunan. <laughs> Alexander Avramenko, advisor, Aaron Ruri. Rachel Beltman, advisor, Mary Kay Flum. <laughs> Courtney Condor, advisor, Charlie Fell. <laughs> Jaiwei Lee, advisor, Hen Nguan. Frederica Morgan, advisor Claudio Verani. <laughs> Rana Morsi, advisor Jennifer Stockdale. Yakubu Sidhu, advisor, Mary Rogers. <laughs> Jinhan Wu, advisor, Natalia Rockland. Asma Al Hazami, advisor Youngro Hoon. John Tarchik, advisor Lang Hu. Charuka Wickramasinha, Professor Ngang Lee. Janine Ali, advisor, Diane Kress. Robert Carr, advisor, David Sanabro and Edward Cackett.
Zulifkar Mizloom, advisor Sean Gavin. Nabin Pujal, advisor Robert Har. Stephanie Zarb, advisor Kristen Taylor. Marina Fedor, advisor Emily Grecken. Jeremy Grant, advisor, Lisa Report. Okay. Lauren Radigan, advisor, Lisa Report. Shoshana Croner, advisor, Mark Lumley. Juno Moray, advisor, Peter Lichtenberg. <laughs> Holly Tonka, advisor, Mark Lumley. Christopher Urbanic, advisor, Mark Lumley. <laughs> Jolene Yamin, advisor, Mark Lumley. Jamie Pittman, advisor, Valerie Simon. Sarah Wilhoit, advisor, Christopher Trenta Costa. Allison Gendry James, advisor Heather Dillaway. Congratulations, all PhD recipients. I now call the degree candidates from the College of Fine Performing and Communication Arts to the stage to participate in the Diploma March. P please process by rows, beginning with the first row. Please follow the directions at the staff at the head of each row.
Ladies and gentlemen, the December 2022 graduates of the College of Fine Performing and Communication Arts. <laughs> Catherine Smith. <laughs> Adzidi Perez. Hannah Sexton, Rebecca Reynolds, Daniel Sykes, Lauren Sadia, James Schultz, Also, for says Sejanego, Shanae Pruitt, Christopher Wyden, Mark McMillan, Kathleen McMillan, Kayla Perry. David Lyons, Jennifer Evans, Ashley Hunter, Shelby Ripple, Melissa Bazookas, Ryan Bowie, Dina Garcia Mafiera, Beth Sharnock, Aliyah Boykin, Nicholas Davis, Desiree Menchelu, Kama Clark. Glenn Tarrant, Amber Beasley, Michael Fitzgerald, Madison Albrand, Daniel Knight, Dana Plasto, Jessica Titoskin. Navja Kaur, Prabja Kaur, Wemi Ida, Morris Fagans, Nara Esku, Aya Ahmed. Alex Moses, Kashmir Schuster, Brian Gutierrez, Ariana Dare Tone, Maria Fernandez, Colin Chavez, Abir Khalif. Serena Al Saad, D'Angelo Robertson, Ayana Robinson, Deron Ship, Cecilia Avarado, Zaina Jafar. Morgan Thomas, Cameron Duffield, <laughs> Destiny Stover,
Naya Bakrikosnava. Samaya Thurman. Henry Smith. I said Aaron Smith. <laughs> Brittany Thomas. Kylie Casey. Alisa Marquet. Taylor Cole. Okay. Amira Pai. Ami Emily Gallagher. <laughs> Zoe Regula. Hannah Namo. <laughs> Travis Neveson. Logan McDill. Nora Ryan, Tatum Alston, Katrin Reyes, Christine Jew, Megan Sturgeon, Anna George. Dylan Katie, Alexander Joy, Brendan Means Connery, Daphne Bates, Annalise Trincamp, Olivia Durant, Leah Anji. Miguel Angel Diaz, Addison Mikowski, Lauren Stanat, Thomas Papchick, Megan McGowan, Mark Dowda, Dowda. Samantha Robin Robinger, Roy Cho, Autumn Bryant, Kayla Guillory, Anasia Davenport, Elena Crambring. Antonia Segris, Angelina Mason, Ian Nix, Sasia Fradi, Emily Jaramillo, Gabrielle Paulina Hamill, Alexis Strickland, please welcome the degree candidates from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Sammy Sano. <laughs> Kenneth Jackson. <laughs> Dwayne Russell. <laughs> Julia Delore. 
Tyler Bowers. Dot Turan. Nicholas Ryan. Rachel Bush. Alondra Carter Alviso. Cecily Valdez. Aaron Williams. Naraman Hawili. Michael Santioni. Jamie Domenico. Rafael Androje. De'Erica Bertram. Advit Road. Juno McMillan. Farah Jackson. Kaiko Narasiko. Kristen Lee Ironside. Crystal Head. Darius Mason. Fletcher Ryer. Ross Coero. Benjamin Charles Peacock. Colin Hanzinski. Charity Barnes. David Sular. Sarah Akil. Saba Dubashi. <laughs> Jesse Duque. <laughs> Kathleen Saraza. <laughs> Matthew Tillman. <laughs> Bilal Al Hassan. <laughs> Alexander Restum. <laughs> Jenna Bazi. Sarah Haydor, Allison Applin, Zaniah Salah, Haywan Chu, Saji Hamid Alkuzai. Sydney Hoffman, <laughs> Caleb Lowndes, Versailles Angelino Maxi, Lydia Margaret Jarjusa, Dana Grant, Sammy Hines. Melissa Fan, Matthew Lynn, Miriam Amin, Sarah Algiheim, Melina Lichina, Yasmina Brash. Nicole Calabat, Julia Mansour, Alyssa Mixon, Zach Voss, <laughs> Lika Shohati, Noor Ali. Ariana Valdez, Albana Grashevsky, 
Sophia Gallegos. Derek Lee. Veronica Green. Sherilyn Wade. Marina Dia. Mariama Dia. <laughs> Jess Nahi. Fatima Joma. Lakeisha Foreman. Sandra Renee Perry. Tobias Ellis. Woo! Michael Welsh. Hawa Darwich. Malak Al Hajj. Dania Nuseba. Sarah Zandi. Muklis Alad Al Razak. <laughs> Tiffany Stanchu. Yes. Serene Ed Libby. Sarah Shahab. Yara Saad. Daniela Zoli. Haley Burness. Nabiha Jawani. Aaron Nicosia. Emily Stewart. Amna Amin Wani, Kendrick Villa Lawn, Dana Alzuhali, Sybil Yamas, Bobby Sutton, Jasmine Walls, Faryal Khan. Catherine Zarnata, Samantha Kamati, Elijah McCoy, Nisa Soba, Austin White, Eric Dominico. Yasmin Haiti, Ali McBell, Dina Mahdi, Sulam Hashum, Janatul Fardus, Hannah Marili, Gabriela Maktar. Truvina Bandara, Emma Johnson, <laughs> Teresa Tynago, Melissa Madroski, Marissa, yeah. Nicholas Cito, <laughs> Carol Green. Osulu Saheed, Aldin Kaji, Zachary Yono, Chanel Tucker, Claire Zikowski, Blake Calloway. Zara Alfat Lawi, Jolie Karadche, Morgan Lawrence, Santiago Garcia Leco, Jyoti Uden, 
Christy Whitaker Enix. Sarah Jafal. Eunice Sharaj. Christy Blita. Abigail Newland. Mark Giuliano. Giuliano. Melissa Balchinovich. <laughs> Amber Nichols. Shivapriya Chandu. Sanjuna Ayla. Bisma Sheik. Hina Katri. Brenda Magdesi. Clarice Dasliva Perez. Mona Abu Ariba. Alyssa Erlenbeck. Wajdan Al Babli. Camelia Monique Ziad. Hela Nacy. Brenda Davis. Haley Hicks. Rabbi Soroku. Sharia Chowdhury. Zina Azo. Neymar Asi. Shadi Mori. Kennedy Brown. Yasir Alsaman. Sean Helzer. Tahid Body. Rachel Body. Maglina Mehailova. Samol Abdulhamid. Lorenz Safta. Kayla Bino. Emily Mylar. Katarina Cole. Grace George. Nicole Golder. Kofi Kimbrell. Sean Banizak. Johanna Mankey. Tina Clark. Haley Kenzorik. Miriam Safar. Farouk Al Sawari. Calder Laidlaw. Kaylee Weber. Jesse Tomazic, Garrett Clay, Cameron Caspari, Munib Khan, 
Abraham Alstadi. Opeyemi Fasika. Haley Marie Wichrahowski. Aubriana Jackson Butler. Elena Clark. Pedro Soto. Salam Bayra Kadar. Rebecca Grant. Farah Habhab. Alexa Novak. Madeline Brigowski. Juliana Summers Donover. Nolan Babinski. Romana Priyanka. Michelle Borkash. Clara Balowski. Aubrey Greenfelder. Laura Nasser. Gautham Bootygum. Jennifer Carter. Maria Chamberlain. Devion Brown. Brenda Hernandez. Diala Alkawasme. Sarah Ali. John Marco Melochi. Naeem Wilder. Hala Moussed. Michael Johnson Jr. Ian McNulty. Aliyah Dawi. Bobby Barrett. Kimberly Ritchie. Ellen Christensen. Anusha Vemulaparti. Chanel Silas. Allison Matthews. Asia Amen Javacic. Tara Haddad. Roy Newman. Akil Sobe. Ahmad Davi. William David Miles. Dwayne Wilson. Daniel Williams. Reva Yetuma. Megan Watson. Jacqueline Myers. Alexis Ruffin. Dominique Hampton. Ryan Sparks.
Nadia Rahman. Ali Al Fawadi. Adele Al Fawadi. Tasina Chowdhury. Julie Nitz. Mark Kaminsky. Kenya Phillips. Brittany Bonici Khalil. Shivani Patel. Madi Nasser. Abraham Kiwanian. Gabrielle Elizabeth Kelly. Mallory Lund. Naziha James. Paris Gallagher. Kaya Gallagher. Elizabeth Cashin. Cornelia Williams. Sudeshana Gulanki. Nathan, Nathan Casiglia. <laughs> Leah Deagle. Giovanni Karim. Bushra Al Shahari. Tavi Valdez. Joseph Irwin Basa Vinia. Gabriel Moni. Lindsay Cryenbring. Taylor Haggerty. Liliana Yunchai. Alexandria Shurig. Lucas Bam. Stanley Pincon. Sarah Huskin, Adna Farage, Patrick Lim, Justin Miziak, James Borden, Matthew Wong, Parker Griffith. <laughs> Deva Harina Babu. <laughs> Skylar Vanderkirkham. <laughs> Ala Saleh. <laughs> Vanessa Greco. <laughs> Reese Susella. Audrey Leonard, Elise Gates, Giovanni Martorella, Benjamin Thomas, Mackenzie Wright, Isabella McConnell, Juanica Cantrell, Kristen Hardicke, Ciara Spencer, Gloria Mshana, 
Elaine Errol, Brianna Hood, Hadi Kanafir, Rajan Farsakian, Selena Patek, Madison Foster, Zoe Harris, Carolyn Wakuski, Ahmed Alawamle, Amy Ali Lockhart, Sierra Mack, Brian Burton Jr. Anya Kukin, Summer Peck, Sharuk Jamil, Vivian Nguyen, Eve Bowdy, Sarah Durek, Justine Grisham, Matthew Bossett, Angela Opit, Ulura Spite, Brianna Harris, Jocelyn Lewis, Noah Storbeck, Clarice Whalen, Kyra Wolfgang, Mitchell Duda, Olivia Barron, Doris Lance Prun Ta Urazzo, Abby Schneider. Ivan Patov, Ann Bergstrom, Miriam Chowdhury, Rosalie Riccabono, Lyle Eid. D. Henderson, Alondra Morales, Raylan Reed Galatito, Saba Bazi, Yara Arafai. Joseph Sembeni, Adriana Menes, Starla Hairston, Jalea Eccles, Andrew Tazric. Raven Lockridge, Zainab Zarik, Yusuf Hamia, Paulina Iestas Rosales. Alexandra Anderson, Emma Bostic, Gabrielle Jerome, Joshua Potter, Katherine Heiser, Metty Schaffel, Ivan Chaguba, 
Mariah Seaton. Malaya King. Tina Tate. Katera Renee Womack. Kayla Whitfield. Shobani Shrikanta. Ali Shim. Ahmed Kassir. Matthias Roberts. Ulysses Rodriguez. Alexander Ariano. Charles Zinner IV. Namara Ramisha. Brianna Yanos. Zachary McDade. Fatima Jobat. Fatima Syed. Stefan Bizanski. <laughs> Alexander Bizanski. Farah Al Shawapu. Emily Cayley. Annie Mercado. Roshan Chaya. Sophia Hadi Nazal. Destiny Dohi. Nabila Asbiji. Nabila Asabiji. Elise Hall. Families, friends, honored guests, may I present to you the Wayne State University Class of 2022. Well done. It, it, is now, it is now my pleasure to present this morning's student speaker, Beth Tarnock. Beth is graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Arts degree in communication from the College of Fine Performing and Communication Arts. And that's why I decided to go ahead and continue my education. Well, I started with what was then called telecommunications when I was in 1985. So I always had an affinity for that and I liked it. And 35 years later, I still do. I like technology and everything that's involved in communication. This program has changed me and it's made me be better and do better, think outside the box, and apply myself in ways that I had never imagined that I could. My name is Sophia, and I'm on the morning drama. Good morning, warriors! First and foremost, congratulations. Here we are on our graduation day. It is my utmost pleasure today 
to welcome you all to the ceremony for the College of Fine Performing and Communication Arts and the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Thank you, Dean Alahi, Associate Dean Keishley, and faculty for bestowing the honor of being your commencement speaker today. My name is Beth Sharnock. I am a graduating senior in Communication Studies. When I think about the journey that we all took to get here today, I think about how different everyone's journey and story is. Some of us took a straight four-year path to graduation, never deviating. Others may have taken a long year road to get here. And then there are those of us that took a little bit longer a few detours along the way before finally completing the journey. But we are here and we made it. We all had the same goal, to graduate. You see, the goal never changed for any of us, even if the time frame wasn't exactly the same for all of us. I started my college career in 1985 at a Big Ten school. I was going to be a first-generation college graduate and make my family proud. Should have been a dream come true, and I tried to make it my dream, but it just wasn't. Nothing felt right and I was unhappy and lost in a sea of students. I ended up dropping out of college. I was ashamed, embarrassed, and defeated. But life has a way of continuing. I got a job, married, and had children. In 2017, I started working for Wayne State University. I quietly thought about coming back to school. And in 2019, I did become a Wayne State warrior. I remember walking into my first class in over 30 years, organizational communication, and wondering, what the heck am I doing here? I was working full time, taking care of kids, dogs, a home, and I was just added being a student to an already full plate. There were days that it was just overwhelming, and we can all relate to that, right? And when that happened, I just tried to take it one day at a time, one class at a time, and sometimes it was just one assignment at a time. You all remember what we went through just two short years ago, right? The pandemic. Do you remember it just being a struggle to get through the day, let alone thinking about submitting assignments? I'd like to pause for just a moment to remember those that we lost during the pandemic that will forever be in our hearts and minds. The students here are amazing and there's such a sense of pride in being a Wayne State Warrior. As the semesters rolled by, I made friends in my classes, I made the Dean's List, and I even earned a few scholarships. Thank you. But my high point really came when my daughter started at Wayne State University in 2020. And we were even able to take a class together. Isn't that cool? I remember teasing her when we were in the student center in line at Starbucks. I turned to her and I said, I bet you're the only student here with your mom. <laughs> she turned to me and she said, you're a student too, mom, and you belong here. I'm a big believer in that everything has a way of working out the way it's supposed to. I had to adjust my time frame of my goal of graduating from college, but that's okay. I learned that setting and achieving goals is a journey, not a race. Remember that goals give our lives meaning and a reason to always keep moving forward. So set your goals and meet them with pride, distinction, and success. I stand before you today, humble, proud, and warrior strong, Please, everyone, give the graduating class of December 2022 a round of applause because we are warrior strong. And please join me in thanking Beth for her comments and wishing her the best in the future.
Now I'd like to introduce Anessa Morley, Executive Director of the Wayne State Alumni Association and Senior Director of Alumni Relations to present a very special welcome to our university's newest alumni. Congratulations, graduates. You arrived at Wayne State as students, but today you leave as powerful examples of success. You've demonstrated that with grit, opportunity, and ambition, anything is possible. As you move your tassel from student to graduate of the class of 2022 today, we welcome you to the Wayne State Alumni Association, a community of more than 294,000 warriors. There are Wayne State alumni in every corner of Detroit, in every part of Michigan, across the country, and even around the world. And no matter where your journey takes you, you will always find a Wayne State connection. Wayne State will continue to have an impact on your career, your personal growth, and your life. We hope you keep the connections that you've made during your time here and continue to make new connections through the Alumni Association. We offer many programs and opportunities, including ways to pay it forward for future graduates, through mentoring, scholarships, and more. You will be hearing from us soon, and in the meantime, just know that we want to hear where you are going as well. We want to hear where life takes you. So please share your accomplishments and your updates with us as you achieve milestones throughout your journey. You are alumni of Wayne State, then, now, always. On behalf of the Alumni Association, congratulations again on your accomplishments. We can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Morley. Now, will all the PhD and master's re degree recipients please stand? <laughs> will everyone please join me in congratulating their, these students for their efforts, accomplishments, and successfully completing their postgraduate degrees? Please be seated. Will all bachelor degree graduates please stand? In a tradition that has continued at great universities across the world, the turning of the tassel signifies the completion of your undergraduate degree. As I count to three, will all the candidates for bachelor's degrees please turn your tassels from right to left? One, two, three, turn. One more time, congratulations to the graduates of the class of 2022. Please be seated. We salute the student, faculty, and staff volunteers who helped manage this morning's ceremony. And thank you to Douglas Bianchi, conductor, and Kevin Phillips, student conductor, and members of the Wayne State University Wind Symphony. <laughs> Lastly, leading the platform party to and from the stage this morning was Dr. Brad Roth. He served today as the mace bearer. Dr. Roth is a member of the Academy of Scholars, a professor of political science in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, and a professor of law in the law school. Thank you, Professor Roth. Now, as we get ready to conclude, 
We ask that graduates and honored guests please remain in your seats as the marshals will lead the members of the platform party from the stage. This concludes this morning's commencement ceremony. Thank you for celebrating with us. And once again, congratulations to all of you.